Chicago, Chicago, that title in town. Chicago, Chicago, I will show you. Hi, I'm Michael Millar with the Real Estate Publishing Group. We're here today for the eighth annual Women in Commercial Real Estate Directory, which is a guide and directory to the top women in commercial real estate in Chicago. It's the eighth year that it's been produced by the Illinois Real Estate Journal and will be part of the June issue. In this issue, more than 200 women in commercial real estate are highlighted. They come from all walks of, of the commercial real estate field, from development, brokerage, architecture, investment, management, ownership, etc. Many categories. A directory listing is $325 and includes a photograph, company name, description, and a bio of the candidate. For more information about this directory, please contact Frank Biondo or go to www.rejournals.com. Over the course of the next week or so, we'll be talking with and sharing with you interviews that we've had with three special women in commercial real estate, talking about their experiences, what they expect for the year ahead, and some other bits of advice and interesting information. So look ahead to that, and again, make your reservation for the Women in Commercial Real Estate Directory. Thank you. Hi, I'm Michael Millar, and we're here with the Illinois Real Estate Journal and its special supplement of approximately 200 women in the Chicago commercial real estate arena. We're here today with Ann Tomlinson, who is a Senior Vice President with MB Real Estate. She's responsible for leasing office space, primarily downtown, but also has worked in the suburbs in a career that spans almost three decades. And Anne, what we want to talk about today is, is how things have changed. I mean, you've seen cycles that have been tenant, uh, tenant markets, landlord markets, building booms, and idle cranes. And I think what we're seeing today is a lot of this 24-7 environment. So can you talk to us about what that means here in Chicago? Oh, well, certainly, Michael, I, I think that what's beginning to happen downtown, or actually has be developed over the last, say, 18 months or so, is that we're seeing more and more companies, Fortune 100, Fortune 500 companies, who are keen on attracting and retaining uh, the talent that is attracted to a downtown environment. So they're looking for these young people who much prefer to be living downtown and ideally working downtown in a uh, location where they can take public transit or better yet, bicycles, ride their bicycles to work or even to walk to work. They're really interested in being in an environment, meaning their home environment, where they can have fun, where they can uh, meet one another in, in restaurants and bars and cultural institutions and sporting events um, where they have something that will keep them occupied 24-7. Well, then we have another question for you, and that is, you know, having the experience that you do, uh, what are some perhaps lessons learned or some advice that you might give, whether it's a young person starting out or, or you know, getting their feet uh, acclimated in commercial real estate, or even those who've been in the business uh, for a long time? A piece of advice that I received at one point is that every experience is an opportunity to learn. And that experience, although it may be disappointing at the time, is something that can be, uh, be studied and used at some point in the future. Likewise, every single individual that one meets along the way, whether it be a, a tenant representative or a tenant themselves or an attorney or um, an owner, at some point in the future, one will run across that person once again. So the key there is to try not to burn bridges and to treat every individual with respect and uh, that they deserve and that um, and to know that probably your paths will cross once again. Well that's great advice. Thank you very much. Ian. Chicago, Chicago, that title in town. Chicago, Chicago, I will show you around. I love it, bet you bottom dollar.